In a previous video, I showed you how to wire an auxiliary water pump switch into the water pump control module. Um, this video, I'm going to show you how to install a timer so that the water pump will automatically shut off after a period of time that you select. Think of the timer as nothing more than another switch that gets energized when the load is energized. Okay, so when we wire in this timer, we are going to treat the timer like a momentary switch. So the timer has a positive for power, a negative for, to power the unit. It has an S0 and an S1. All this is is a relay. So we are going to consider this a load. And therefore, the negative in the timer has to be connected to the load on the module. The positive from the timer has to be connected to the battery so that when the load is energized, the timer is energized. Now, we're going to use this relay as a momentary switch. So, one leg of the relay, the S0, has to be connected to ground and when the relay is closed, this will act as our trigger or our switch. So this is how it works. You have your momentary switch. You push the button on the momentary switch. You push the button on the momentary switch. This activates this relay. The load now is closed. The water pump turns on. The ring light on the auxiliary switch turns on and the timer turns on. The timer counts down the seconds, however you want it set, 900, 899, 898, etc. And at the end of the time delay, this relay closes connects the negative to the switch and shuts off the water pump, shuts off the ring light, and shuts off the timer. For those of you who wish to have an automatic shut off on your water pump, if you've uh, installed the auxiliary switch, this should be relatively easy. Although there are some changes uh, to this uh, switch. This is a new switch I just got off of eBay. Two box, three or four box I have to get. They're all over the place. This is what it looks like. And I won't go into programming now, but I mount this near the relay. So I mount it over here near the relay somewhere. But on the back, you notice there are various connections. This VCC connection has to go to battery power. The ground connection obviously goes to ground. We're going to activate it by using it as a load. So, the VCC will get connected to battery. And you can connect it to the controller or anywhere along this circuit from the battery. And the ground is now going to become our load. So you connect the ground over here to this load portion of the module. Once again, you're going to connect the positive right here to the battery or this, this uh, terminal. And the load or the black to this terminal. 
So when you activate the switch, the loads that will get activated are going to be the water pump and the timer. Timer's off now. Timer's on. So if you set the timer for 15 minutes, turn it on, it will start clicking down from 15 minutes. And once it gets to 15 minutes is where the magic happens. It shuts off the module, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you look at this diagram here, this is the relay portion. We are going to, to the S0 portion, connect it to common. So on the module, we're going to connect the S0 portion to ground. And the S1 portion, we're going to connect to switch. So what happens here is when this timer relay turns on, it will start counting down the time. So if you set it for 15 minutes, it's 900 seconds. It'll be 899, 898, etc. Once it gets down to zero, it will trip the relay inside this, and it will connect S0 to S1. It will connect the common or the ground to the switch. Now we already know that when we send a pulse of negative or complete the circuit to the switch from ground, it switches on or off this module. If we've already switched it on, the next thing that happens is the timer switches it off. Okay, let's see how this works. So I have the, the pump module right there. I have the momentary switch which activates the water pump and the light ring. And then I have a timer. Let's review. From the momentary switch, the red is connected through your wiring to the battery. The black is connected through the wiring through the yellow wire to load. Load goes to the water pump as well. So when you turn the water pump on, you complete the circuit to the light ring. The green from the switch goes to common in the wiring here, which is black. And on the module is ground. And then the blue is the switch, goes through the blue wire to the switch terminal on the module, okay? So now, this timer is set up just like a switch. The red goes to battery. The yellow is the load. So when the load is activated, the yellow becomes the negative part of the circuit and turns on the timer. The black is common or ground and the blue is the switch. Okay, so I've already got the load uh, from the timer, the yellow, yellow hooked up to the load part of the module. Next one is ground. So I'm gonna hook up the common or the ground. Next one is battery. Try and do this without Shorten anything out. And then the blue is the switch. So I have the load connected to the load terminal, which is the yellow from the timer. The ground connected to the common wire on the back of the light, uh, uh, excuse me, on the back of the timer. So now when I activate the water pump, the light ring should come on, 
and the timer should come on. I've got it set to 15 seconds. But let's see what happens. So the timer is counting down. If you use this on your water pump, you'd set it to 15 minutes, which is 900 seconds. But the timer is counting down and the relay will close and it shuts all the power off. Try that again. So all the loads are shut down. The water pump load, the light ring load, and the timer will be shut down. That's how it works.